Hey guys, Nash here. So this is OxygenOS port for Android phones. Now you can finally install OxygenOS in non OnePlus devices. So OxygenOS is one of the most popular Android skin out there. Very smooth experience with plenty of customization without any bloatware. But the thing is, to use OxygenOS, you have to buy their expensive OnePlus phone. But thanks to awesome developers, now I can have OxygenOS without OnePlus device. So this Android port is really stable and you can use it as your daily driver. It's working so great, for a week I almost forgot I have Redmi phone. So as you can see, this port treats my phone as OnePlus 8T. And OxygenOS version is 10.3, but the spec over here are according to my phone. So the software is working properly with my phone and all the OnePlus gestures are working great. In fact, I just came from Android 11 room and these gestures are even better than stock Android 11. It looks like MIUI, but it's different. I don't like to say it, but iPhone is better at gestures than Android. But with OxygenOS, you have similar kind of gestures, if not better. Like when you install some custom rooms, you feel like this is unfinished product. But this OS looks solid and you can trust for stability because this is not even OxygenOS beta. This is OxygenOS stable port. Personally, I feel OxygenOS is really superior than some custom rooms in terms of features and smoothness. Like on the home screen, you can swipe two fingers and you enter into hidden space. Here you can have your hidden apps like Reddit for educational purpose. It works just like Samsung Secure Folder. And of course, you can enable with password or your fingerprint too. Also, this OnePlus launcher is great. It's definitely better than Pixel Launcher. Here you can disable or enable app drawer. You can have notification dots. And of course, this hidden space is part of OxygenOS launcher, which makes it great. So unlike stock Android, you get special tab for customization, where you can have few themes that includes the special McLaren theme. And apart from that, you get three other themes. You can customize your clock, you're always on display. Plus, you can have this horizon light. You can change button, you can change icon shape. Basically, a very detailed theme engine that is given to you by OnePlus. It's impressive that OnePlus really care about their users and provide such features so they don't have to root their phone. Frankly, stock Android is becoming boring day by day. Like last week, I installed Android 11 and there is nothing new there. In fact, right now, companies like OnePlus and Samsung are providing better Android experience than Google. And because this is ported from stable OxygenOS 10.3, there is no bug. It really works well. In fact, I have been using this for last 5 days and no random reboot and no F4 close so far. Everything else is working great like Wi-Fi, fingerprint, Volti is working and Wi-Fi calling is working too. There is no problem of using any payment app or banking app in these OS. In fact, apps can't detect that you are on a custom OS. And as you can see in the Play Store, my Play Store is certified. It means even Google is unable to tell that I'm running custom port of official Oxygen OS. Gaming experience is better than MIUI and in some games better than stock Android. PUBG and Call of Duty runs well. Even while screen recording, you get 60 FPS and your phone doesn't overheat. But if you're really into gaming, then I highly recommend that you install Nocentral OS, which I just reviewed last week. I will drop that video in i button. So even though this is perfect ROM, there is one tiny feature which is not working. Quick launching your payment app by long pressing your fingerprint. Because I have physical fingerprint, that feature is unavailable on my Redmi Note 7 Pro. If you're using any other phone, it might be available for you. The RAM management is outstanding, app opening time is faster, I would say it runs better than MIUI in Redmi phone. The battery life is decent, I got 7 hours of screen on time, which is kind of average for my phone, but you might get different in your phone depending on your usage. And now I will show you how to install this on your phone. So first of all download these 3 files from description box below. Now you can use any recovery you want, I am using Orange Fox. So once you go to recovery, wipe everything except internal storage. And then first install the latest firmware, then this OxygenOS ROM file and this fkip disabler. Make sure you install these 3 files, otherwise your phone won't boot. Once you install them, the first boot will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Like this video if you appreciate my work on this channel and I will see you tomorrow.